With only 67 days until the election, the presidential nominees are honing their messages. As Natalie Brand shows us, both sides are hoping to gain support among women on some of the country's hot button issues. Former President Donald Trump is in western Pennsylvania working to boost his base in the battleground state. Somebody said women don't like Donald Trump. Part of his mission is to shore up support from women on issues including IVF and abortion. With victory this fall, we will enact this pro-family agenda and we will bring back the American dream, bigger, better, and stronger than ever before. He's also facing backlash from some conservative groups about his comments Thursday, suggesting Florida's six-week abortion ban is too restrictive. They attack him on that he did away with abortion. No, he did not do away with abortion. He sent it back to the states where it was where it should be. Friday evening, Trump speaks to the conservative group Moms for Liberty, where parental rights are a top concern. The fact that parents have the fundamental right for a complete upbringing of their children and that big tech, big government overreach is trying to take that away from parents every day. Vice President Kamala Harris is looking to lock in her sizable lead among female voters. And next week, her campaign launches a reproductive freedom bus tour, making more than 50 stops till Election Day. In her first major interview as a presidential candidate, Harris was asked about some of her policy shifts, including on fracking. No, and I made that clear on the debate stage in 2020, that I would not ban fracking. As vice president, I did not ban fracking. As president, I will not ban fracking. Harris campaigns in Pittsburgh on Labor Day with President Biden, where energy issues are top of mind. Natalie Brent, CBS News, Washington.